chained to his hospital bed with a swollen face. This picture of Bree's memo, taken by a fellow activist, was widely published on social media in August 2021. The 24-year-old activist has become one of the symbols for the fight for human rights in Cameroon. Over a hundred political activists in the country have been languishing in jail for nearly 450 days. His sister Raisa is on her phone. She can't stop going through his pictures. He told her that he was hit in the face in prison and suffered from severe swelling. He told me that he was slapped. That's what caused his pain. It's not normal to lock people up because they've expressed themselves. We want their release. Other women joined Raisa to demand the release of their family members, arrested in September 2020 during peaceful protests organized by the opposition. Sabine Gono has not seen her son since that day. 31-year-old Etienne was arrested alongside three others while leaving a meeting organized by their civil rights organization. He now risks life imprisonment on charges of conspiracy, revolution and insurrection. My child has never stolen. My child has never killed. I don't know why he's been in prison for more than a year. Every week, these mothers and sisters of political prisoners take turns to meet at each other's home. Today, they are preparing to visit their detained relatives. For security reasons, we could not follow them to the entrance of the infamous Douala Central Prison. Inside the prison, political detainees filmed their conditions of incarceration, according to this amateur video broadcast last July on a YouTube channel dedicated to Cameroonian news. Several rights defenders have denounced such conditions of detention, but also their family members when allowed to visit. My child is there and he's ill. With the stench over there, it's hell. The prison is hell. It's another world. Across the city, we meet members of civil society organizations stand up for Cameroon, demanding their release. Every Friday, they raise an alarm on the plight of their peers to draw the attention of local authorities, but also international opinion. Our comrades are facing life imprisonment because they are being prosecuted at a military court accused of organizing a revolution and insurrection. But they only attended a meeting, which we do every Friday. Since they were incarcerated, we continue to hold our meetings. We continue to denounce the violation of human rights in Cameroon and continue to denounce bad governance. In the capital, Yaoundé, some 250 kilometers away, a collective of lawyers is condemning prolonged incarceration of political activists. Files of dozens of supporters of Maurice Camto's Cameroon Renaissance Movement are on their table. The opposition leader claims he won the 2018 presidential vote and alleges that it was rigged by Paul Bia's regime. 122 supporters of his party have been detained since September 2020 for wishing to participate in peaceful protests banned by the government. We the torture. The lawyers said the activists were tortured. They also branded the detention order by military judges as illegal. Their habeas corpus trial and a request for provisional release have been adjourned 279 times. To protest what they call a sham trial organized by a justice system allegedly manipulated by the government, they've withdrawn from the courts and stopped defending their clients. When we withdraw, we send a message to the system. This system is no longer good. The system is no longer acceptable. We don't accept the system where a fundamental public freedom cannot be exercised on the ground and where justice accompanies repression. 
accompagne la répression. So far, despite several requests, Cameroon's Ministry of Justice has not reacted to these recurrent accusations of human rights violations. Meanwhile, some MRC activists who have been detained since September 2020 have just been sentenced to between three and five years in prison.